y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Lil Lit, and I have a new do. I got a new hairdo. Ooh, yeah, I'm fresh, and it took me all night. Yeah. If y'all new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Go ahead and turn on your notifications so you know when I'm dropping new new content. I'm stuttering over my words and stuff, but we about to get through it. Also, do not forget to click the share button and smash the like button. If I ain't already said that, I know I be like repeating stuff all the time. This is gonna be a really really fast and easy hair tutorial on to create these beautiful goddess locks. I really really have been wanting a new hairstyle and just wanted to keep my hands out of my hair for a certain amount of time. It is like lint flying everywhere oh and I'm spitting Lord have mercy it is lint going everywhere in here and it's just I think it's because of my cover like it's just it's very linty without further ado I'm not gonna hold y'all up and keep chit chatting chitty chatty chitty I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I got these bomb ass locks by the way I have I think 56 to 58 of them i know it's like something along those lines i had watched a tutorial where a lady had that like maybe like a hundred on a girl i knew i was not going to be able to pull that off it's just i kind of just did what i did i'm gonna show y'all how i did what i did and i'm gonna keep it going like that so yeah here y'all go here are all the items that i needed the hair you guys that is at the ends was actually cut off from a unit I purchased this afro type twist hair from the beauty supply store which was $5.99 a pack and a crochet needle the base and beginning for all of the locks is basically going to be the box braid y'all you're gonna braid this all the way down and stop maybe 25% down that is an odd number but yeah you see how it is right here because later on you will be adding and feeding in the weave that makes the ends curly and longer this is when I actually finished this one side of my head. It took forever, but I'm going to obviously show you how I completed this style with the other side of my hair. Y'all want to use some type of moisturizer on your hair, especially with this hair that you'll be feeding in to the ends of your hair and the synthetic hair that is going to be wrapped around it. Of course, I use a ton of pink lotion for moisturization. Um, I don't even know if that's a word, but yeah. Okay, you guys, so really quick, I'm just going to give y'all some tips that I had to keep in mind while doing my hair. And the reason why I decided to feed in the weave towards the ends of my hair is so that the hair would actually be longer than um, if I was just adding it in from the root. So that is um, a little tip to think about also you want longer locks or braids you can always add in the hair at the ends of your own hair this is a horrible 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 um, video and representation on how to do the feed in process you guys this was by far the longest part of this hairstyle and it was my first time ever doing feed ins. That's why it probably took me so long. But I once I got the hang of it, I had it and I was really good with it. Don't be impatient and um, just have patience. <laughs> also, really quick, I know everyone is going to be asking me what kind of hair it was. You guys, I'm not sure. This was just off a unit and I cut it off the wefts of the track and I just use this hair. So I'm not sure, it's just some regular, probably Brazilian curly weave. This is how you wrap the hair. Wait a minute, I ain't even showed y'all how to crochet it in. Rewind this right quick. Here is the crochet needle for anybody who has never seen one. Of course you loop the hair in the crochet needle part loop it in through the gap where the braid has began and this is also going to relieve tension on the hair this is also going to help the locks last longer because they cannot come unraveled from the root and they also give that nice natural look of a real lock once they begin to grow out and this is how you wrap Got 
some mousse, y'all. I'm just gonna put this all on my hair. Basically like how it is on the other side that I was finished with. Finally finished, finally finished. This shit took forever. And I'm putting it all through the hair. Don't be nervous to touch the locks and um, even if they do come like unraveled or the hair begins to move down or upward, it's okay, guys. They're not supposed to look super neat and you don't have to be super soft with them. And I'm just going to begin to braid them once I am done rubbing it in. finish braiding them up it is finally time for bed good afternoon it is about 3 30 i believe mind you you guys i went to bed at like 8 30 after i finally finished them from starting at 2 p.m the previous day so now i'm just basically as you see on braiding the braids to see if they are like going to be a little crinkly so yeah this 
in detail. I feel like this has been pretty good detail uh, tutorial. I'm gonna give y'all some slow mo. You know what I'm saying? Go let y'all see what it look like close up and a little from a distance or whatever. I'm hoping that these will stay in for like a good amount of time just because of the technique that I use. I don't have to worry about them like sliding down or sliding out or anything like that. I really want to keep these in until they are like super, super old. If I could keep these joints in for like three months, I will. If I got to touch some up every now and again, I'll do that. But I want them to gradually look like, um, you know what I'm saying? Lisa Bonet, you know, she real famous for her locks and I believe that she got goddess locks way 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 back in the past and then she just gradually you know what I'm saying grew her hair and locked her hair out with them so I don't know if I'm doing all that but we'll see we'll see where these go if I get tired of them the amount of time it took I started at like 2 p.m. and I finished at like 7 o'clock in the morning no like 8 8 o'clock in the morning or something like that something ridiculous bro like it took me all day all night and all morning to finish my hair that was for me stopping that was for me i had i had did like the first two i think little feed-in braids and i was like oh my god i don't think i'm gonna be able to do this but i told myself to sit down sit your ass down do this hairstyle you ain't got shit else to do so get to it so you know what i'm saying i had my netflix on and i just went with it and I cooked and I ate snacks and I drank and I got up and I peed and I, you know what I'm saying? Like it took a long time for me to do this on my head, but I'm happy that I did this. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I will see y'all on my channel probably tomorrow. I, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. It's gonna be Monday, so I love y'all so much. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash this like button. You can't give two thumbs up because then I end up meaning that you ain't like it, so I'm gonna need y'all to smash the like button comment down below make sure you subscribe turn your notifications do not forget to share and i will see y'all later